So if you own an HP Revolve 810 or any HP device that uses the executive pen, you probably already know about the critical design flaw with this laptop or pen. And that is the pen just does not work. You you can put a new battery in it, you can you can try shaking it around, you can you can do anything. And the problem is, I mean look, this is a fresh battery right out of the box. You can do all this stuff. And no matter what you do, either the pen will straight up not work, or it will work very intermittently. Like this pen right here, it is not working at all. I do anything, nothing. But then I take this pen, and this pen is one that I've modified with this trick I'll show you. And it just works. It just works. Here's a Revolve 810 pen that is not dropping out. That's very consistent, pressure works and all that. Bang. So you're like, how do I get a pen that just works? Well, I'm going to show you the fix for these HP Revolve pens that works every time. And it works with other laptops that use the executive pen as well. So let's get ready to show you this. Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to fix the problem with these pens once and for all. So what you're going to need is a battery package, the battery, and your pen. So first we're going to take a look at the pen itself and I'll show you the major design flaw. So right here, in fact I'm just going to zoom it up here. Right here we can see that the plus part of this pen is very very flimsy so we're gonna fix this for good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our scissors and we're going to very slowly pry up here not too much and then we're going to put cardboard in it so we're gonna zoom out now we're going to cut out a piece of cardboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to cut. And this might be a little too big. So we're going to have to cut it down a little more. Right. Let's see if uh, it should be big enough to fit. We're going to do is we're going to pry this under here. We're going to pry this right under here. I'm actually going to zoom in here so you can get a better view. So right here, we're going to pry this under. So right now, it's much more secure because we've pried something under it. So now we're going to reassemble the stylus now that we've done this real simple fix because now it's it's now we can see it's pried up some more and by out of the box this thing had a very flimsy power connection. So we're going to drop our battery back in Gonna reassemble. And we're going to see if this works. So one more thing to point out is that the thinness of the cardboard does matter. If it's too thin, you'll have to pry in another piece of cardboard just to make a connection. So you'd have to stick this back here, pry back up, And then shove a second piece in. And this can be a pain, especially if we didn't cut it right, but you get, you get the idea here. It's taking a while.
bang two pieces. So we got two pieces of cardboard here and that's what we want. We want our connection to be as good as possible. We want this to make contact as easily as possible because that's our trick here. So if your battery cardboard isn't thick enough you can shove another piece in here. It won't hurt. So the third thing that could keep this pen from working and this is what I would actually do first is I would clean off the contacts of the plus side because right here it looks a little filthy so what we're going to do is um is it going to focus yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to wipe it down with some wipe one of these uh, eyeglass clean wipes I've heard of people using contact cleaner, rubbing alcohol, etc. So let's try it now. So I actually went at that pen a little bit more with some rubbing alcohol because that actually had a bit of a, um, what do you call it, an oxidized side. Some, something was up with it. But anyhow, I've done all that. Let's see both pens work. In fact, I have one on one hand and one in the other. So, here, here, let's draw a circle. So I've gone from one pen that did nothing and if it works you'll get dropouts to two pens that work. So. Then, good catch. There we go, these pens work. Two working HP executive pens with these fixes. So cardboard and cleaning the contacts. You'll get a working pen every time, guaranteed. That's all that needs to be said. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos about tech.